You're watching your award-winning channel, Cinevision, this Independence Day. Staying with the spirit of the day, we ask that you remain as we bring you a photo exhibition on national unity holding in Maitama Abuja. This is a live channel's television event. On a particular occasion, we came to the fair on Sunday. And the surprise of all of us, the Christians, we scheduled their service to hold only after the Muslims have observed their Easter day prayers. I don't see any more endless of in the service. And for the Archbishop Valley Memorial Church. And these are the theme of the first ever duty photo exhibition targets our teeny beautiful population who are handy subjects for propagating hate if unguarded. The one for us and the youth is just simply because the youth are usually the ones on the front line of the conflict. In mission's history, is a powerful resource to foster unity as it has the capacity to bring together people of a common past and share destiny. So you are because you are born before the parents of the earth and you have the privilege to live the two people that soon. But along the line, when the quest for independence, certain gaps manifested, which eventually led to the civil war. And, uh, after the Civil War, things have never remained the same. And these are, these are using the powerful tool of photography to commission the young who are a significant part of the nation's population. Whenever there's conflict, whenever there's crisis, be it sectarian, be it religious, those are the forefront. It's always been used. In 2017, following several sectarian and religious crises, largely involving the youth, Anissa was right. Anissa. It's a combination of three major Nigerian languages. So you may wonder what Anisa is. Our thing, Anisa, is gotten from three different indigenous languages in Nigeria. The Hausa, the Igbo, and the Yoruba. Igbo figures A-N, which stands for Anukonu. Then Yoruba figures R-N, which stands for Ishokon. Hausa figures Z-A. The need to set aside unhealthy differences cannot be overemphasized, and this has happened before, as Alajilai Mohammed recalls. In the last two years, I found the rising Iran Iran lecture, Iran Iran period. But if you credit of the people of the world, I found I did not have the baby for more than four or five years. The premises of the St. Andrew Catholic Church in Europe was in the end of my Hanabai lecture. So, if you look at this, we actually enjoy a small problem with whether you are a Yoruba man or a Yoruba man, whether you are a Muslim or a Christian. The photographs for the Anza exhibition are really sourced from different parts of the world to tell our powerful news story. As a visual artist, a documentary photographer, I understand the impact of images. An image says a thousand words. How strong it is to tell stories using images. We're getting images from photographers from the past, I mean, old to the present, fantastic, great, world-class images together to tell this Nigerian universal story. It is the desire of every Nigeria to pride themselves as Nigerians to be respected wherever our green passport is seen. Now here's the big question. What kind of country would you want to serve?
And ladies and gentlemen, that was a short documentary on Anisa. Anisa. Uh, thank you. It deserves a warm round of applause. I was so excited when I saw my picture. I hadn't, I hadn't seen the documentary, so when I saw that particular picture that I had been talking to you about, I was really excited. It's such a beauty. I, I think it just so represents who we are as a people without any outside influences. Novo is a woman, I, amazing young woman. I met her, um, I think it was earlier this year, in Boston, when His Excellency, the Vice President, came to um, Harvard University to give a lecture and uh, meet with various um, uh, Nigerians and uh, various people of the inter uh, international community. And we had a slight tete-a-tete -tete as we were moving from one part of Boston to another. And I saw this young girl with her camera just snapping photographs. And I was wondering, who is this? You know, I mean, she looked so stunning, so energetic. So, um, so I kept looking at her. And then um, some months later, I got copies of the photographs that she took of myself and the vice president walking on the um, streets of Boston, going to uh, one of the meetings. And the photograph was so beautiful. It just captured a moment that I will always pleasure. That's the kind of person that Nogo is. Please give her a warm round of applause. I'm not sure we are used to seeing you in this get-off. Eh? <laughs> Well done, Nobu. That was really beautiful. Um, now we have some goodwill messages, and I'd like to call on the MD of Sneko Shell Nigeria Exploration Production Company, Mr. Bayo Ujulari, to give us his welcome or uh, his uh, goodwill message. As I mentioned several times before the beginning of the program, this is a PPP project, government and the public sector. Welcome, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, your Excellency, the Vice President uh, of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Professor Yali Yusubanjo, and his amiable uh, wife, members of the Federal Executive Council here present. Uh, Notably, the Minister of Trade, Industry and Investment, now Supervising Minister for Women Affairs and Social Welfare, Adria Aisha Abubakar, the Head of Studies of the Federation, Mrs. Winifred Oyogita, the Deputy Chief of Staff to the President, Adi Ipaya, distinguished invitees, guests, organizers of ANISA events, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's been a great day so far, and I think I feel highly honored to be invited to this event. On behalf of the Shell companies in Nigeria, made up of the uh, SPEC, Shell Petroleum Development Companies of Nigeria, SNEPCO, Shell Nigeria Exploration and Production Company, Shell Nigerian Gas, I congratulate the President leadership, and great people of Nigeria on our 58th independent anniversary celebration. We have come a long way, and the future is looking brighter. As I look back, reflecting on the many independent day celebrations I have witnessed in my lifetime, one recurring decimal that jumped out at me is the significance of our cultural heritage, which is niche largely on us and are today expressed in the world over in pictorial representations. So, as we gather here today, we are not celebrating either Nigerian independence anniversary or our cultural heritage, each in isolation. Today's exhibition is a fusion of arts and life liberty. And for lovers of art, you will agree with me that liberty of artistic license is the bedrock of art. 
Tech companies in Nigeria are major contributors to the Nigerian economy, not only through the energy we produce and the revenues we generate for our country, but also via our expensive supply chain, local content, and social investments. Even in the choice of our social investments, we place high premium on education, health, sports, and other important areas of our national life. We have been a dependable partner of Nigeria well before its independence, and the partnership has continued to grow over the years. Our past sponsorship of today's events and presence here is an expression of our undying faith in Nigeria and its potential. This international exclusive photo exhibition, Teams and Isa, designed to visually showcase the lively untold stories of our country's unity and togetherness is a critical step in building a stronger and more prosperous Nigeria. More importantly, it is the heart of our existence as a nation and it reminds us of the labor of our founding fathers and duties we all owe to make Nigeria greater than we met it. By strengthening its unity, in diversity and unleashing its potential to the outside world. In conclusion, many congratulations to the organizers. We are glad to be part of the airport making event. There is no better time than now to reinforce our story of greatness through visual representation of our nation. Congratulations. Thank you very much.